Hello everyone, this is Bombastic Slacks, uh, one of the developers who works on Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. And today I'm going to be talking to you about a feature that I've been working on for a little while now, which uh, is an incredibly requested feature, and it's to a way to move items between pockets in a very granular way. Uh, so I'm going to be showcasing a bit of how that works and what you can do now. Uh, because this comes up all the time as a question on the Reddit and Discord and stuff. So I figured I'd make a little video for it instead of just doing a text post like I normally do when I add a big feature. So if uh, for anyone who's played the game quite a bit, you would know that normally when you need to modify uh, what goes in what pocket, you would go to the auto pickup settings menu. Here you can see... Uh, the item, as well as all of the pockets that it contains, what's inside of them. On this menu, you can disable inserting stuff, make it so that nothing will unload. Uh, you can, what else do we have? Add categories that only those categories or those items can go into the uh, pocket. And using all of that, you could, for the most part, manage what was going into what pockets in your inventory, but it was a little confusing for new players and even for old players at some point it became a little cumbersome. And so what I've actually done is now on this menu, you can just press enter, select an item from a pocket and move it to another pocket. Um, so that's a pretty useful feature in and of itself. However, on top of that, if you go to a more a uh, full item with lots of internal pockets and nested containers, and I open up this. Not only can I see the high volume rucksacks pockets, which are one, two, three, four, five, and six, all of the ones in the farthest kind of column. You can also see all of the things nested under it. So all of my jean pockets, a steel bottle, a IFAC pouch and a plastic bottle nested inside of that IFAC pouch. So from here, I can still do all of the moving around that was just being discussed. I can take this whole IFAC pouch and move it over to this pocket, and the whole thing reorganizes. So now that second pocket has the IFAC under it with the plastic bottle. Uh, this also, as you might have been able to see there, obeys restrictions. So you can't try, try and put something in an incorrect pocket. So the only pockets that can hold this IFAC are one, two, and four. So I'll move it back to one. Works fine. And this works for other things too and flag restrictions. So I've got water in this plastic bottle. I can move that over to the steel bottle. Easy peasy. Uh, so with uh, this, you can do lots of useful stuff. You could build yourself a first aid kit exactly how you want it set it like I already have here so that items won't be inserted unless you manually insert them. And from there, you're set. You can just carry that IFAC around with you or that first aid pouch and you'll be good to go. The additional functionality I've added is that uh, really kind of brings this all together is when you open up your inventory, you'll now see that you have a new option called Organize Contents, which by default is just on I in this menu. If you press I, it does a similar menu to the favorites menu. However, it includes all of your worn clothing, all of their pockets, and everything nested in those pockets. And so now, not only can I move things around in, say, my high volume rucksack, but I could take this these aspirin from my jumpsuit pocket, move that into this IFAC within my high volume rucksack, right from this menu, no problem. So hopefully uh, with this, some people should be able to get some more granularity and control over what they're carrying around and where and feel a little bit better about it. As I always say, um, feel free to reach out to me on Discord if there's uh, anything related to this you need to talk about or better yet file an issue on GitHub. I'm going to be fixing bugs with this, I'm sure, for a little while. And um, yeah, otherwise... Thanks, everyone, for watching.